Hi, I'm Steve Reed. Welcome to my studio. I'd like to show you a few of the things I've been working on during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, I work in the northern side of, of Canada, and so normally it's a half hour commute each way. And one of the benefits of working at home is that I have an extra hour a day to work on more interesting things. So I'd like to show you some of the miniatures I've worked on and some of the artwork. The miniatures that I do are usually in three quarter inch to the foot, which is one sixteenth scale. The first miniature I'd like to show you is this grandfather clock, and it's based on a full size clock that I built a number of years ago. Uh, the inspiration for this miniature version came from this beautiful watch that a friend of mine gave uh, gave me after she cleaned out her parents' house. And it's a beautiful old locket style watch, but part of the case was missing, so it was no longer of much use as a watch. Uh, around the face is a painted panel, and I painted this to match the one I did for the full-size clock. And it's got Atlas and his twin brothers supporting the dial, a couple of cherubs in the skies with trumpets, and a parade of family pets. The pendulum and weights are made from found objects like buttons, brass rods, and so on. And then to make it so we can still see the watch, I made it so that you can take off the back panel and you can see the beautiful engraved back of the locket. One of the types of art that I really enjoy doing is figure drawing. But during the pandemic, uh, art studios and figure drawing groups have been closed down. So I've been forced to use myself as a model. I did this drawing based on a, from a photograph and uh, it's in pencil on toned paper. It's really nice to work on a, a paper that is slightly darker than white paper because you can do your shading and then you can add your highlights in white and it really helps to make the, the, the drawing pop. These highlights I did in, in white Conte, which is sort of like a pressed chalk crayon. The next miniature is, a, is also based on a full-size piece of furniture that we have. And it was a, a mantle from the early 1900s, and I loved it because of the arch in it. And I decided it would be fun to make it in miniature. So the miniature one is made out of pine and also some found objects. The back is part of a dental floss container. The fireplace itself has electronic components, string, jewelry findings, and then the coal is actually crushed amber glass. And then around the, uh, the fireplace, they have sort of painted marble. Most years we get some house finches that nest on the pillars on our front porch. And this year, one of the last birds to leave the nest flew down into the porch instead of flying out into the garden. But the sides of our porch are glassed in, so it was having trouble getting out. And eventually it ended up landing on the broom. And I was able to take some photographs of it and then gently pick up the broom and take it to the steps. And the little bird flew off into the wild. This drawing is one I did with uh, chalk pastels. They're uh, a so very soft pastel to work with. And they come in a variety of colors and then you can blend them. Although I really like figure drawing, it's really good to, to draw different things. So I've had various drawing exercises where I've drawn a pair of shoes or sandals or the view at the top of our stairs. Well, this drawing is of my uh, office mates in my home office, uh, Happy the dog and Ethel the mermaid. And Ethel is a beautiful knit toy that Doug Beeler made for us. And it was great fun drawing the two of the, these two friends and uh, to work on the shading and the details. This miniature is a sleigh bed or a lit carriole. And I've always liked sleigh beds and uh, never got a full size one. So I thought this was a way to have one in miniature. I made this out of apple wood and apple is a nice harder wood than, than pine. So you can sand it down to a nice soft, nice smooth surface. And also you could carve things like these little moldings and they hold their detail and they aren't as likely to snap. Now this bed, uh, they would have had a straw mattress or maybe a mattress filled with chicken feathers or swans down. Or apparently if you were really well off, you might have a mattress filled with pigeon down. 
This version I filled with short pieces of unraveled twine. As many of you know, Mary and I love to garden and we've gradually replaced the front lawn of our house with perennials. And so I thought it would be fun to do a painting of the house. So this is in acrylic on canvas and uh, it depicts the house in, in uh, late spring with a bit of artistic license because the two rose bushes don't bloom at the same time. This is actually going to be an anniversary present for Mary, so please don't tell her about it. So I hope you've enjoyed the visit to the studio and I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Hello, my name is Craig Kamke and I've been worshipping at St. Matthew's here for oh, the better part of a decade. Uh, today I'd like to read a poem which I wrote many years ago which has some personal reference to me. The, the poem is entitled, An Old Woman Watches. She lifted her eyes to the sky in search of birds, of dreams gone by, of rising moons from yesterday, of memories now gone astray. She watches contrails against the blue. Could they perhaps provide a clue to what tomorrow soon may bring when she will be there where angels sing? For earthly things she little cares as she searches for heaven's stairs so she can climb to Peter's gate and be with God where woes abate. Sherman Reed. This is my COVID-19 cottage, Green Thumb Garden Center. I spent most of my life here between April and November. No wonder Steve's a garden center widower. I thought you'd like to see what's going on. Very different year. Very slim pickings now. So right now we're outside the little COVID-19 cottage. On my right we've got shrubs, deciduous, further along, evergreens, and in the background, we have some vines. It's been a different year this year. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of coordination. We're actually closed now, shorter hours. It's Saturday afternoon after another very busy week. So now we're in the perennial section. We sort our perennials a little different than most garden centers. We actually sort them by sun and shade. We don't have a ton of staff, so sometimes you have to wait, but you might as well know what you're looking for and where to go. You probably notice that the tables are a little emptier than usual. The growers really have had a very tough time. First of all, they didn't know if there was going to be a season. Some even threw out stock. Then it looked like the season was going to go. And the next thing that happened was the growers didn't have their offshore workers. So not only were they delayed by four weeks, then they arrived two more weeks of quarantine. So they were really set back. Then of course, all of the winter bakers have decided to garden. So what's happening now is the demand is way outpacing the supply. Who knows what 2021 will bring, but anyway, we're all in it together and it's sure not too late to plant. inside the COVID-19 cottage. We work really long hours, but we have lots of fun. Every year we have a contest or a competition. This year, why not? We're going to grow pumpkins. Every staff member has selected their own pumpkin and they're providing their own magic to make it work. Talking about fun, how do you like our safety screen? It's a previously enjoyed shower curtain and the best news is, is customers come from far away just to see our sharks. So we walk past the fruit and the veggie border. We have lots of fruit bushes, lots of fruit trees, loads of veggies and all those edibles. 
goals that keep us happy throughout the season. I'm now starting with the tree grow. There's always a project going on at Green Thumb, and we decided it'd be way more fun for our customers to be able to walk through the trees and instead of just looking at them as a little stick in a great big huge pot. So the short story is, this is the garden center side is very good this year. Everybody wants to garden. Landscaping, not so much. Lots of people want us to give them a hand in their garden, but the reality is, is we can't have a lot of people in our trucks. We have to be COVID-19 safe. The other thing, which is a real eye-opener, is there are not a lot of public bathrooms around anymore until the, the province opens up a little bit. What that means to our gardeners, we have to bring them home at lunchtime. They need to wash their hands, they need to use the facilities, and of course they need to have their lunch. So we're not as productive as we usually are in terms of hours in the day, but the ladies and gents are doing as great a job as they always do. There's lots of people at St. Matthew's that use our gardening services and also shop here. Thanks for that and see you in church.